what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so it looks like marley shelton isn't the only cast member who can't keep her mouth shut <laughs> we now have news of someone else who might be returning to the franchise if this is in fact true we know of certain scenes that are going to be shot involving a car chase and i'm going to share my share my thoughts on that and we now know that this week of course they started shooting at williston or Wilston or Williston Middle School out in Wilmington, North Carolina. So just to kick things off, as you see on your screen here, the lovely Melissa Barrera, who is going to be portraying Sarah, Sam, I, wh whatever name they go with. I'm leaning towards Sam based off of the auditions and the casting agency that we've seen. So she decided to spill some beans, share some tea and then quickly delete it <laughs> literally uh less than two hours ago um and what's funny is just how none it's like these cast members they're asking to get their cell phone taken away i'm like you guys if you're if they have all of these surprises don't ruin them because i i don't want to see any of these cast members get in trouble uh for just doing the silliest stuff the stuff that they put out there or that she put out today is just like like wow first marley now now melissa just like telling you everything about who who's coming back how they're coming back <laughs> but i want to dish on the um the car scenes that are going to be shot in the coming weeks downtown it says here on an official news site from wilmington wilmington north carolina cruise or cruise for screen five will be on the streets in downtown wilmington next month to film driving scenes for the latest installment of the horror franchise according to film permits scenes will be filmed on october 12th and october 14th on October 12th, a crew will film along South 5th Avenue between Dock and Queen Streets. The film permit states that there will be a stunt driving scenes with a car going the wrong way. Filming is expected to take place between 9 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Extended, extended intermittent traffic control requested on South 5th Street between Dock and Queen, including Orange Street, Ann Street, Dunn Street, Church Street, and Castle Street between South 4th south fourth and south six the permit states production will only close streets during filming of driving scenes and will reopen and allow traffic to flow in between so going off of that before i dish into that i just want to talk about these images we have here like i mentioned they started filming again this week we know that they had that that scary situation occur where three cast members tested positive last week not cast members three crew members tested positive last week and thankfully it's not going to lead to production being halted they're going to keep moving forward and pushing on and they started shooting the school scenes for obviously woodsboro high and a lot of these images might be blurry this is coming from more instagram users who decided to go out there and take some shots and share on their socials so that we the fans can get every bit of detail that we possibly can have before the film comes out because you know we want to we want to know everything before we see it at this point <laughs> um so we have all of these images coming out you see they have a tent here set up you know they're bringing out the trucks unloading everything everything's getting set up and this of course is most likely going to be woodsboro high you see the car here and apparently according to someone on twitter i don't know your twitter handle but if you're looking at my video you know who you are they pointed out that they reached out to the individual who shared these on instagram and they asked them if the car said woodsboro on them and they replied back yes so i previously mentioned that maybe this town will be called parkside now with if the cars do in fact say woodsboro police department and you know all that good stuff then that means we'll still be in woodsboro i i, I still have yet to find out why they're calling it parkside because usually the working title for the projects that i'm familiar with some of the working titles have had a connection to the actual film itself so that's yet to be seen but just a lot of cool sequences and images coming out of set today from this week of them filming at that school so getting into this driving scene this car chase scene that's supposed to be going down going down with a car going down the wrong road we haven't seen anything involving a car in Ghostface in particular since scream 2 we've seen a car scene in scream 3 uh involving a involving cotton just trying to rush home so going off of the descriptions that we have here it's stating that 
there will be stunt driving scenes with the car going the wrong way. So going off of that, I gotta wonder, will this involve Dewey Riley in some capacity? Will it involve Judy Hicks? Will it involve Ghostface chasing after one of our new main cast members? Um, possibly Melissa Barrera's character or even Jenna Ortega's character. Maybe Selena Gomez if she's in fact in it. So who knows? Because honestly, at this point, they're they're trying to keep keep things very top secret but going off of the agencies and all of these websites where they have they're looking for people to fill this and that role and looking for officers to fill certain roles in regards to a certain scene i'm leaning towards this being a scene that involves dewey riley in some capacity and this might just be a scene where he's getting chased by ghostface or he's chasing down the killer which i think would be probably one of his best best moments in the franchise um Dewey's always come across as just a joke a running gag at some at this point which is what his character ultimately started off as the the useful cop or the useless cop that you always have in horror movies <laughs> but somehow he's managed to always survive and he's still here with us today because you know you always have useless cops in horror films so I just wanted to talk about the possibility that maybe this could be Dewey in his final hurrah because this could be a scene we have to talk about it i i don't necessarily want it to happen but if you have to kill off one of the three dewey is the one i go with because honestly because before i've said i would go with gail but now thinking about how close her and sydney have gotten i'd rather see their dynamic than dewey and gale without sydney or vice versa i'd rather see dewey and the other two i'd rather see D the other two girls the other two ladies without dewey versus keeping dewey if we had to pick about which one of these three would have to kill and unfortunately this could be a scene where dewey does meet his demise i don't think that's what's going to happen i just want to talk about that possibility because anything's possible with this next film they want to honor and respect Wes Craven's legacy that doesn't mean they're not going to try to do their own thing too sure you think Wes Craven might might not have ever why well, I, I know for a fact he probably the way the, the series is going he probably would have never killed these characters but still we have new filmmakers who want to put their own spin on it so they might be willing to go that route and kill off one of these three characters that we all know and love so well so Dewey could easily be dying in this scene if this scene even involves him but it could just be a chase scene with Ghostface chasing after one of our cast members and I would love to see something like that as well because we haven't seen anything like that since Scream 2 since Scream 3 we haven't seen Ghostface involved in any type of car incident a car accident some type of issue on the road but addressing something else like i wanted to mention melissa barrera cannot keep her mouth shut just like marley shelton so heather materazzo i believe is how you pronounce her last name if i'm saying it wrong i apologize we all know she played randy meek's character martha meeks in scream 3 she delivered that tape to them so they could find out what the rules of the trilogy were and then she just left I, I still don't know how she wound up on set but <laughs> you guys know that character randy's sister it looks like she'll be making an appearance in the movie if this is anything to go off of as you see here melissa barrera she was on the beach with other cast members from screen five jenna ortega mason gooding other cast members and in this image you see here she tagged uh, heather Matarazzo in the image now this struck a lot of people caught a lot of people's attention and then she quickly deleted it she quickly deleted it so this image is not fake it's just that she quickly deleted it um, and then in the next image you see here you can clearly see what looks to be that same woman she tagged um, heather materazzo this looks exactly like her on the beach so given that you now have tagged her quickly deleted your post and probably regret posting it ever <laughs> Uh, us as fans are now going to assume that Heather Matarazzo will be reprising her role as Randy Meek's sister in this upcoming film. What role she will play, I have no idea. Maybe she'll be there to be like guidance for these young stars. Maybe something regarding Randy is going to be making her appear again in the film. Hopefully not more tapes that he recorded years ago. <laughs> but i can't wait to see what happens i'm excited glad filming is still underway just wanted to make a quick video sharing some tidbits that came out today and just share my thoughts on these images that came out 
over the course of the last couple of days while they're filming in North Carolina at that school for Woodsboro High. But let me know what you guys think about everything down in the comment section below. Of course, if you not if you haven't already, of course, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to all my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. Also, guys, me, myself, 3C and Zach Cherry, we're all going to be under the same roof in an upcoming podcast. I just wanted to throw that last bit out there because I know a lot of you guys have said, when are we going to do something together? It's coming. It's going to be something regarding Screen 5 as well. So I can't wait for you all to see that. Uh, it's just going to be a simple podcast. Won't be a YouTube video. I know that's ultimately what you guys want to see, but I thought I would just share that last bit with you guys. But with all that in mind, I will see you in the next video.